Black Show. Look, uh, I have to say that as a little girl who has always wanted to be an actress my entire life, there has never been a moment in my life that I did not want to be on stage or on screen performing and telling someone else's story. And so obviously with that, you know that one of my heroes and anyone's hero uh, who's black in Hollywood is Miss Cicely Tyson. We lost her at the age of 96. What she brought to Hollywood and what she did for black people was amazing for the time that she did it. To turn down roles that demeaned black people in a time when there were no roles for black people. Do you understand the power of what she did and how she held uh, the, the black community's esteem uh, to white America? Ed, talk about Cicely. I, I mean, just an American treasure. Um, you know, I, I think last week we talked a little bit about Hank Aaron and what, what he meant to the sporting world. And you can almost duplicate the, the, the very same uh, 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 statements with regards to Sicily, but but even more so um, to to the very points that you that you laid out. One, every time that you saw her on the screen, it was it was a position of dignity. She conducted herself. It, there there was there was nothing in a demeaning role. Um, always a positive influence, and you know I I to to see how her death is starting to impact others um, and how people have been talking about her. I, I it, you know, honored that, that she deserves, but really uh, sad to see her pass. Exactly. Yeah. And what I, what I love about uh, Sydney, uh, S Sydney Lord, what I love about Cicely's legacy is that she was able to get her flowers while she was here. Absolutely. You know, Agreed. Tyler Perry had her name on the building. He paid her four times the rate that she was expecting. Oprah Winfrey had her at the Legends Ball. So many people were able to honor her while she was here. Barack was such Obama a beautiful thing. honored her Barack with Obama. freedom. And, yes. and I yes. was so happy and delighted that she was able to get her Oscar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. really. Yes. She deserved a life well lived. Way. Dr. Yes. Olayka. She, yes. I mean, I, I think everybody has said it. This is exactly the type of life that you want people to live. When you're a pioneer in your field and you're able to do things the right way with dignity and uplift everybody that looks like you for your generation, for the next generation and many beyond, the fact that she got to be 96 and see her own life lived and tell her own story and so many people who came after her could be inspired by her, I think is incredibly important. I think it's a tremendous aspect of her legacy and I think it's why we have so many successful black actors and actresses today, because they can look at her and say, if she could do it, if she could keep her dignity throughout such an incredibly important and long career, then I can too. And I think that speaks volumes. Dominique, wrap us up. Seven decades in the spotlight, seven decades of accomplishment on the Broadway stage, on the small screen, on the silver screen. And Cicely Tyson did so many things before her time. The natural hair, her unapologetically black beauty, her dignity. I mean, I think she crossed over. I too always wanted to be on stage, Tammy, and looked up to her. But I think for anyone in any job, especially for black women, she showed how to do it with class and elegance and be uncompromising. And her very beauty, her very aesthetic was a statement of black pride, black excellence and black beauty. And we will leave that here with you. If we could get a photo of Miss Cicely Tyson back up. Cicely Tyson, gone at the age of 96. We honor you today on the Tammy Mac Late Show on Fox Soul. Until tomorrow, everybody, it's a blessing to be in your box. Bye-bye.